Hi guys, this is Voice of the Students on Unisic 94.1 FM, where we learn about the school and the students. We ask serious questions, phone questions and general knowledge questions for entertaining and educational purposes. Do well to join us. All right, can you tell us your name and your department? Okay, um, Bude Agosta Chinecherem from Department of Cooperative Economics and Management. All right, can you tell us your hobbies? Writing, eating, <laughs> and just watching movies. Alright, that's okay. So, um, can you tell us why you chose Unisic as your school? Just for my only choice, right? The only choice I had. So you don't have any special reason. Okay. So can you also tell us what you think is the most stressful thing about school? Lectures. Very stressful. Very very stressful. All right, and finally, I want to ask you a fun question. Mm -hmm. Which Nigerian state do you think is the light of the nation? Number state, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very You're much. Welcome. All right, please tell us your name and your department. Okay, my name is Melvin, uh, and my department is Corporate oh. Economics and Management. Cooperative. Yeah. All right. Um, please tell us about your hobbies. My hobbies. Yes. Anything that concerns football, I like doing anything that concerns football. Playing video games, playing football, watching football, anything that concerns football, basically. Okay. Uh, tell us why you chose Unisic as your school of choice. Why I chose Unisic as yes. Well. Probably I'm from Anambra State, so I knew it was going to be easy for me to get admission. Probably that was just what made me to come to Unisic. And what do you think is the most stressful thing about school? The most stressful thing about school. Uh, school is stressful. I don't think, in fact, basically everything about school is stressful. So I don't think there's another. Like everything. Everything about school is stressful. Okay. Really, there's no way to go to for now. So can you tell me whose face is on our two hundred naira notes? Whose face is on our two hundred naira notes? Where's our mother Bello? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Me, I go to school. No wine. I don't really treat. <laughs> My school is not. I don't know if it's a progress or but then it's a mother Bello. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, okay. You got it right. Thank you. Please tell us your name and your department. My name is Ezeosi Nelly from Cooperative Economics and Management. All right. Can we know why you chose Unisic as your school of choice? Since it is in the East, I decided to choose it. So I'll be able to know how to speak Igbo very well. That's just why you chose Unisic. Yes. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just tell us your hobbies. Okay. Traveling. Playing. And eating. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Um, one more question. What do you think is the most stressful part of school? Ah, during those exam periods, whereby you come to come to school, they tell you um, the exam starts by eight a.m. and then only for you to get to school, and it's starting by twelve. So that's really really stressful. And then, all right. One fun question. Whose face is on our five naira currency notes? Five naira is not important again, so why should I know it? But just tell us whose face but is there. But it's not important, so I don't think I... I know it's not important, <laughs> but just tell us. I don't know since it's not important, so you don't know? No, I don't know. So how about the 500 naira notes? Me tell her, Mohamed. The other one is in 20 naira. I don't know. You don't know, all right? Don't know. Thank you very much. Okay. Please, can you tell us your name and your department? Okay, my name is Onyeko Chibese Sir, and um, I was once a student of Cooperative Economics and Management, so today I'm doing my best. <laughs> well, my name is Mabese John Portugal. Yes, I'm finally a graduate. Today I defended Natanga. So I'm Stanley, Stanley. I'm a graduate of it. Uh, so, yeah, so, well, I'll get back to the... My name is Udeji Mureko Kenichi. I'm a student of music and I've graduated today. Just that defense and it's amazing. Yeah. All right, can you tell me what do you think is the most challenging part of school? Well, there are so many things I would say. First and foremost, we got admission and the COVID-19 came. So after the COVID-19 strike came, so... After everything, we are washed, so we didn't have any breathing space. 
So the the academic calendar was choked, making it impossible. Like we couldn't meet up as students. But I'm, I'm thanking God. I'm thanking God that today everything's over. Thank you. Come on, the music is so stressful. I'm on board lectures and every other thing. You have to wake up in the morning and take your bath and t everything. And you know the kind of you know rushing, rushing, rushing. The road transportation, the transportation is uh, is so costly. You know? And the lecturer, they will stress you from one lecture to the other. And the other thing is that money for food. Ha! <laughs> you don't have money. Hmm. Um, it's not easy to be a student in Unizik. In short, to be a student in Nigeria is not easy, but Unizik is so stressful. Forget about at least. Thank just you. Uh, for me, it was very, very stressful. Like, I was like, I was like, to, to, have to, to, to buy my iPhones, no money. So I was like, you know, thank you. Unizik is um, too stressful, yeah. Uh, transport, everything just cost any other. We just know. Everybody just the money, shall any other shall we don't graduate? Thank you. Thank you. Everybody just go. Thank you. I appreciate you. That's it. Alright, um, fun question. If you are to choose between three hundred thousand naira paying job in Nigeria and five hundred euros paying job in UK, which would you go for? Five hundred euros paying job. In UK, yeah, not in Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes, now because that place is it's kind of where they looked at Nigeria uh, before I went there. Yes, for UK. You will go for UK, yeah, five hundred yeah, euros yeah. compared to three hundred thousand euros. Yeah, five hundred. All right. Uh, I will go for five hundred euros in UK because you know, first of all, Nigeria, Nigeria currency doesn't have a. Uh, value understand so uh, there's no need 300 k cannot buy something now understand so i don't see the need for me to be to, to be any in naira because naira don't doesn't have any value now can you, you can you imagine one dollar one dollar is one thousand six and you want, you want it to be any uh, i rather any in, in the uk or all these uh, in euros uh, because nigeria is not uh, all right well this question is a bit complicated because you ask me, let's move the instance at dollar and I will prefer the 300k in Nigeria. But considering the rise, the cost of things in Nigeria, I will honestly prefer. Now, even if it's 100, 100, 100 euros in UK, I will prefer to pay me 100 euros <laughs> in UK compared to, even if it's 1 million in Nigeria. Yes, that's my honest opinion. Alright, thank you. Thank you.